Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Holy Roman Record Race. I know what it's called, I swear. Um, I need to get my navy down here. It's coming down here. Corsica is the province that we need. Unfortunately, we just lost a battle up here because the Papal State is a bunch... They're a bunch of jerks. Just a bunch of bastardy jerks. But we just looted their capital, so I feel better now. Where's my navy? Oh, I never sent it down. Right. That would explain why it's not here. We'll just see what happens if we bring him around over here, and maybe Genoa will leave us alone. Hopefully Genoa's got a bunch of navies over there. In the middle of nowhere. And we'll be able to land a couple troops on Corsica. Get that whole pro that process started. We do have siege value, so I guess we could take the leader into Roma and try to take their capital, just to break their spirits a bit. And we are apparently in distant waters here. And I don't really want to send a huge amount, but let's, let's just send like two regiments over to Corsica. And if you could go ahead and land. There we go. Not enough men to siege, but they will reinforce and they'll be fine. Let's go ahead and protect trade in the English Channel. I hope that you guys, um, well, you're not going to die on the way over there, are you? You might. Tell you what, just go over here first. The Mamluks have announced us as a rival. We decline your royal marriage, as you are about to become our vassals. Oh, and you know what? I might actually be underestimating the amount of imperial authority that we need. 31 princes are for the reform, though, and we only have 27, so maybe. Maybe everyone will be for it. As long as we're not overextended. Maybe we'll only need, need about 50. Possibly. That's, that's actually really good. I forgot that I might need a whole bunch more, and then just realized that maybe I won't. Do we need to worry about this? I guess we kind of do. Lose money or get goods produced reduction? That seems fine. A little bit of goods produced in one province is nothing. Compared to the overall amount of income that we make. Which is still quite garbage, by the way. We really don't make that much money. But we will soon, when we have tons of vassals. And our force limit should go through the roof since we finished the first idea group that gives subject force limit contribution plus 50%. So what do we need? We need enough war score with Genoa that we can give Corsica to Munster. And then other than that, we are going to probably also just give land to Munster. Um, anything that's part of the HRA. So probably just Modena will give to Munster, rather than doing a, re you know, release the country. I think the 10 stuff you get for an Imperial ban, or uh, demanded Imperial territory, is probably more than you would get from having them rise from the ashes, or whatever it's called. We have no way of getting here, do we? No, I did not think so. How are we doing on rebels, by the way? Yep, Linz is still the only province causing any problems. Decreasing autonomy all those years ago. Spires in just a few more, six more years. So we'll probably never see a rebellion from that. And we did take Roma. Let's keep working on Rome's provinces. I'd kind of like to get the leader on Corsica. Or maybe, Lig yeah, let's go to Liguria. Get that two siege value on there. Oh, looks like Hungary actually had one siege value. So, might not be worth having him there. Let's put him elsewhere. Oh no, we've lost the siege of Antwerpen. Who cares? You guys are really going kind of crazy up here, aren't you? Alright, fine. I guess we'll grab our leader and go deal with that instead.
if you're going to cause problems... Okay, we've taken Modena. That's actually quite a few men up there. Wow. Well, let's retreat to safe terrain. We lost more than we killed, but we broke all their sieges, so that's good, aside from the one that we actually fought in. Taken Modena. And we've just taken Rome. And we've got all these troops that we don't need down here anymore, so let's just send them up this way. Uh, we do not actually have the war goal. The war goal is... Uh, actually, we do. Yeah, just hasn't ticked yet. Individual war score against Genoa is at zero still, because these haven't fallen, but they will soon. I'd kind of like to separate piece Brittany, but they're never going to leave. And we can't get to them because France hates us. Hey, there's Corsica. Alright, so, first things first, we transfer this to Munster. And then we try to talk to Genoa and see how long it's going to take for them to say yes. Demands exceed war score minus 100. Peace offer value of 30, war score 30. Yeah, we're going to need their capital. And unfortunately, this other land over here is going to make it kind of annoying to get more war score. But their capital is worth so much that they will probably be willing to surrender. Alright, um, yeah, I think we just kind of pile in. Avoid the river, big, big flat terrain. We have more morale than they do. We've got a 4-2 to their 1-2. Just sort of show up and kill them. That's generally how it works. You just kill people. Wow, they actually did a lot better than I would have expected, but... Wow, holy crap, they really kicked our butt. Like, we, we took huge, huge losses there. There's no excuse for that. That's, non that's nonsense. At the very least, we can stack wipe them to kind of make up for it. Okay. If you could just go ahead and finish this siege for me, please. Come on, Hungary. I believe in you. I'm you. I don't believe in you. I think you're dummy. Ooh, Lithuania entered into a military alliance with Genoa. Unfortunately, well, Genoa's not a co-belligerent, so it doesn't matter. They can't call him in. 28% of the time, it works every time. Alright, let's bring our navy down, just because we're going to have to transport troops off of Corsica anyway. And maybe, just maybe, that'll help speed the siege up. Or, if I'm lucky, because I made the move, they'll just win the siege. You know, Murphy's Law. No! What? No! What is this nonsense? No! Don't you dare! No! We had 12 siege progress. I was just hoping that it would end. Brittany, once again, causing problems. Very irritating. Well, I guess it's a good thing I brought the boats down. We're gonna need them now. For the blockade. Still, we've got a two siege general and we have a blockade established now, so this this shouldn't go too slowly. Still, huge waste of time. Months and months. That's like a six month 
mistake right there. Okay, um, I guess we're just gonna sit here and wait. Get the siege progress back up. Bohemia has apparently done something they weren't supposed to do. We have all these free diplomats. And we were so close. So close to just ending the darn thing. Maybe, maybe finishing the final reform here that we need. Shoot. Okay, well, it's coming back. Have available technology, Diplotech. Yeah, I think we need that. Look back and twerpin. Don't worry about up there. They are not looking like they're going to get control of Modena or Roma before we can finish the Siege of Liguria. Ignore your peace offer. I need this province, please. Alternatively, ah, there we go. Okay, hey, Genoa. You will give Corsica to Munster, and that's all that I really want. Okay, and Rome? You will give Modena as well to Munster. Oh, I can't transfer it while it's being occupied. Well, come on, man. Are you really going to fight this hard over something that's a foregone conclusion? Such a jerk. You're just going to give that right back to the guy that sold it to you. Okay. Now, before we can... Before he does that again, we're just going to immediately demand that province... Oh, man. We can't do it with, uh... You already sold it! <laughs> he already sold it to Ferrar. You little bastard! Just really didn't want to keep it, did he? Still, we were able to demand one. So we're one step closer. Damn you, though. I mean, I, we, <laughs> third, every, every prince is for the reform. So all we needed was that one other problem. I was just about to do it. He did, within five days, he sold it. Ugh. That's annoying. These ships are about to sink. Alright, well, um, who can we go to war with? We have Imperial Liberation on Bohemia, but we can't attack them because they're a member of the HRE. We have Subjugation on Salzburg, can't do anything. Trade dispute on England and on France. We have Imperial Ban on Venice. Okay, well these are provinces that are part of the HRE, so we could probably attack Venice, feed land to somebody, and then still do an Imperial Ban. Or a demanded thing. Munster and Brandenburg would, would both join. Oh hey, France wants to get involved. That's That's fun. I'd really prefer to fight France after we've revoked the Privilegia. Let's see if there's another option first. We still have a CB as well on... on England. England is allied with nobody that matters. Okay, so... Are we really going to just, like, wait for ourselves to die for the final reform? I don't want to do that. I want to get this last reform done. How strong is France? France has 51,000 troops. Tech 6. We're on Tech 5. We're about to be... Well, we're halfway. Tech 6 is a tactics level. 
Hmm. France is rivaled to Castile. Castile's actually friendly to us. And they would accept an alliance if they liked us. So what we could do is declare war on France, get an alliance with Castile, have Castile help us, declare Venice a co-belligerent, and then just start beating up on France. I really wanted to just feed France, feed France to our vassals the second we revoked the Privilegia. But this might be the only way to make it happen kind of quick. So, okay, first things first is to go for a royal marriage, I think, with Castile, since they have a Regency Council too. That's kind of cool. Now it's possible we could become the same dynasty. Let's become friends with them. Get our alliance. You have no truce with France, right? I should have probably checked that a second ago. Alliance offer from Castile. We accept. It's going to probably put us over the relationship limit, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Good. Okay, do we have any bad relationships? Denmark. Bohemia's fine. No, they're all kind of worthwhile. Let's get a diplomat back from Castile now. So if we declared war on France, we could have Castile and Aragon, and Brandenburg. Bohemia is just in debt. And Denmark is fighting in another war. And yet they'd still consider it. Attacker against Danzig and the Danish conquest of Danzig. Oh, Danzig is independent. Interesting. Okay, well, um... Can we beat France? I'm pretty sure we can. I mean, they're strong, but they don't really have any friends. And Venice doesn't count. And we could separate peace Venice by doing a war directly on France. Yeah, trade dispute. Sounds good. So we declare war. Could send a whole bunch of money to Bohemia. They don't really have that many troops. Hungary's having some problems. So their army is non-existent. I think I'd rather just spend the money myself. How strong is Castile? Tech 6. I mean, they almost match up. I think Castile and Aragon together kind of match up against France. And then Aragon's got Naples, so... Now, notice I checked the damn box. Stupid game. And our goal, I think, is going to be to just mostly focus on Venice. Okay, you want to move into my land? That seems fine. I'm going to go ahead and already hire mercenaries. And, uh... Yeah, I feel like this coalition force can, can take France pretty easily. Relative strength of the alliance is uh, about 50% more infantry, about 50% more cavalry. We do have a lot of war exhaustion. I tend to do that a lot. I just constantly go to war, which is fine. We are doing okay. I could just buy it down. But there's really no revolt risk. It's not bad. It's not a big deal. I think we can handle it. This army is completely useless up here. We should retreat it over this way. And uh, prepare, I think, for some, some combat. I mean, France has the majority of the troops, by far. But if we clear out Venice's army, I, I think that those two will probably take care of, of France for me. Probably. Excellent. This actually works out great. Now we get to be the defender in both cases. 
even though we take some losses on the first couple days, we should be able to turn these fights around and end up coming out ahead overall. Although they have a tactics advantage, they are tech 6 as well. It's kind of hard to win against them. Okay. Maintaining that siege doesn't matter at all right now. And we actually did lose. And we lost quite a few men. That tactics advantage was more significant than I expected. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. We should still be able to turn this war into a victory. Looks like they are doing a pretty good job. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.